오버젤러스 브레인의 트루 버라이어티. Alright guys, o v e r z e l o u s brain act. So uh, after the ride, we came in some complications. She's having some stuttering issues. There it is. There it is. He felt it. That's what it is. He felt it. You know? Yep. There it is again. See what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. And it wasn't, honestly. When I asked you about it, it wasn't doing it in the first gears. It was only in the fifth. Because I was only feeling it when I was, you know, doing like, what I was doing. You think? Okay. Because, yeah, it feels like something, like I said, last night it was, it was at fifth. This morning it was, uh, you know. This morning it's been in first, so. All right, so we opened that up. We we're thinking it might just be the chain that might be loose and it might just be falling off. So we're going to uh, adjust the chain to see if that's the problem. Because it looks like everything's good with that sprocket there. Because uh, we did do, when we did the bike, we did sprockets and we did the sprocket. And what else? It was the sprocket and the other thing. Both of the sprockets, so. It shouldn't be that, but yeah, we're gonna move the chain back, test it again, see what's happening, guys. That was the only other thing. Actually, that was the main thing I was thinking coming down. I was like, it's probably the clutch. But like I said, I mean, when I was filming it yesterday, though, it wasn't. It was just the fifth gear. I'll so, uh, do it again one time. One more time to Leo. So you guys, oh, uh, yeah, you guys see that? That's why we think it's the chain, so we're gonna go ahead and get at it. So, we figured out it's the actual sprockets, the teeth, if you look at it, you can see it's not straight. So, I'm going to order a new sprocket and uh, get it going. Alright guys, so with that, we're finally getting this done tomorrow, but yeah, we, we ordered a new sprocket, the teeth on that, so we're definitely going to get that done and knocked out. But yeah, guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll call this an update of what's going on with the bikes. So, yeah, the bikes should be good. Bye. Well, we'll say bye next month. Because uh, by, we should hopefully have everything by maybe Wednesday or something. And we'll have her back up after that. Take another trip. Me and Chris will knock her out at some point during the week. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it that. All right, YouTube. This is Chris here. Sorry, I've been absent from the channel for a while. Um, just took the wheel off. Just took the wheel off of the red uh, tiger here. And um, this rear wheel because the inner tube got pinched. They were putting on the uh, white walls. Uh, so uh, they got a new inner tube for me at the shop. Taking it in tomorrow. Actually, Don's going to pick it up and take it in. But I have the wheel off in order for him to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this sucker sitting like this in the driveway overnight. Hopefully, it doesn't go anywhere. Hopefully, it doesn't move. But yeah. Get this sucker all together and 
Uh, I have some ideas for some videos and we'll go from there. Alright YouTube, uh, we started off with the tire, just got it back from the shop thanks to Gators uh, over in Crestwood. It was a little dirty, so we put some of this Black Magic uh, Bleach White uh, solution on it. It worked really great, and I'm not sponsoring anything, but I'm just saying this stuff works really great. As you can see, it did look like this. <laughs> it did look like this, and now it looks like this. <laughs> so, we're going to spray this side down and then wipe it up. Now the back one's gonna look nice and clean, and the front one, <laughs> you're gonna have to do the front one, though. No, the front one's already clean. Is it? Yeah. Let me take a shot at it. Alright. <laughs> this is the brake side. This is the chain. There's the sprocket side. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to put it on? Uh, I take a little bit. You gotta put these rubber pieces in. They go around. Along right here, just like that. And I heard that you can get, uh, I do need to get replacements for these because it's getting kind of sloppy. Mm -hmm. But I heard you can get polyurethane replacements for these. Really, yeah. So if any, any, uh, any of you subscribers know where I could get some polyurethane uh, bushings for this wheel, let us know in the comments. That would be awesome. And we're going to grease the bearings inside here. This is the 45 tooth sprocket. See how much play this has? Mm -hmm. So those uh, those rubber pieces need to be replaced, so it has less play. Oh, okay. And what I was saying to the subscribers is, there's different materials for those rubber pieces that you can get a, a tighter fit. Mm -hmm. It's better for performance. All right, that side's all greased. Gotta grease this side. Put the brake on. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. All right, now we gotta lube the chain. Pause it. All right, now lube the chain. 
Got some Lucas chain lube. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now I just gotta write it and uh, make sure everything's straight. If it's not straight, do it again. Uh, hopefully it's straight and I don't have to do it again. But yeah. Hello YouTube, this is Chris here, Heavy C. And as you saw in the last video, of the Rocket Fools, Don Sprocket is starting to have that shark fin look where it's binding the chain. So, uh, Don, he still likes the same size sprocket that he was using before that, so uh, I suggested to go ahead and go with a replacement of that sprocket, and that's exactly what he did. So here we have the new sprocket. <clears throat> which is a 41 tooth sprocket okay 41 tooth sprocket same size as the old one he had uh, but it looks it seems it looks like it's in good shape it looks like a it's an aluminum piece so it might be a little bit softer than than some of the aluminums that they use in the stock sprockets but it looks a little cooler than stock. Um, I can see these holes. This hole looks a little off. This hole looks a little off. And maybe all the holes are a little off. But we will put it on Don's bike and see if it works. All right, so side by side. Yeah, definitely got some wear and tear. So we said, hey, hey. I mean, I've been riding on it for a year now, so. Give or take, but we definitely rode hard on that ride. So, time to put this new one on. Sure. I think I'm gonna stay here actually. Well, I wanna ride Nick's on the highway. And, uh, because he said he even thinks his is going faster now. Check. Uh, uh, oh, it's free. This is tight. Woo. Uh. Nice, nice. All right. First step in the axle. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yep. Mm. It's a lot easier than the last time we did it. Oh, yeah. Three of us. It's, it's gonna get easier and easier every time. Yeah, yeah you'll see my struggle in doing it. So we're gonna snug it. Just snug it first. And uh, make sure it's loose enough to to uh, be able to adjust it back because you gotta tighten the chain after snugging it. Oh, that's good. 
And then we'll just work it spig. All right, guys. So Chris is gonna take the first Mac Daddy run. I'm putting my shoes on now. We're gonna give her a test. See where she stands. All right, guys. Open up the Spraniac and Chris. She she seems to be doing good. Uh, this is where we're gonna end the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We got more rides coming because everybody's done. Everybody's ready to ride. So. Uh, See you guys in the next video. Peace.